So it was the showdown. The, the real kring king king scary Katie jumps on people's back fighting to the death showdown. The show went down. I never thought about that. The show, the show went down. And things went down at the show and before the show. And after the show. Oh, yeah. Going down, down, down. It was good. We have really happy Eli trying to make Claire really happy, not realizing that Claire ain't going to be happy. I was just kind of like, Claire, the right thing is so obvious. Like, it's so blatant as to what you should be doing. Right. And I don't know how you're missing it. And all she wanted to do was like, show my naked chest. Bam! It wasn't it wasn't working out, Claire. It just wasn't working out. Like she saw the episode where Paige didn't get justice and decided that she wasn't going to, so it was better to take topless photos. I mean, like, maybe, but it's like, okay, Claire, have you looked at yourself? Obviously, they're going to believe you. You're like an angel baby face. They're, exactly. Like, all you got to do is, like, do a pretty cry, and they'll be like, oh my god, please fire this guy because he harmed this poor angel. Eli plans a surprise party. Fiona's like, I don't even care. And I'm like, that's really funny. Good job. And then he decides, what would make Claire super happy? Oh, getting her internship back. Well, oh let me just God. take a trip over, see I her boss man. I was killing myself. So was I, because you just you knew. Uh, you uh, knew uh, he uh, was going to make uh, up some kind of BS bogus story to tell Eli, and Eli was going to be like, what you doing? Yeah, even Charlie. Charlie, you understand. She knows. That was a horrible moment in my life. But I was faithful that Eli wasn't going to overreact, and he didn't. Proud of you. Proud of you. Imogen was so funny when she was making it rain. Oh, wait, you mean when she was me and she made it rain I, and I said, what? But I can't decide if I enjoyed her first making it rain or her second oh, making it rain the better. first making the it first rain one, was so good. She was like, I'm going to make it rain. Exactly. And then the second one, she was just like, I made it rain. Especially for such a, like, a horrible, tense fight moment. She was like... Yay, confetti! Like, she's, yes. And Femogen just gets A++++ in my book. Oh, she's always so and forever, really. So good. Yeah, I'm really done with the hockey team. That time when, like, Katie is, like, staring at, like, seething at them in the bus and basically killed and burned the bus down with her eyes. Like, oh, yeah. I felt that same way. And I just think they need to go. Cam can stay. Cam, Cam can, can stay. stay. And we're giving but him cookies and milk. He doesn't even like hockey. So no. So that's fine. So he's not even like a member of the team in my mind. Like he's hurt because he hated them so much he jumped off a building for them basically. That was terrible. He was like, I don't want to play Oof. with you. Ah! Like, oh, you know what I really, really, really loved? What? I loved Owen sticking up for Tristan. <gasps> I was like, yeah. I was so happy that he did. I was so worried for a second that like he wouldn't. Because I thought he knew, like, that the phone was his. What? I was like, are you How serious? How did you know that that's not your little brother's phone? I'm like, are you kidding me right yeah. now? It was the West Drive theme song playing as his ringtone. Of and course. I was like, of course it is. Excellent. When they found him, he was just kind of like, yeah, I'm in the closet. <laughs> I just like, feel like he, he was just giving us broken doll on the floor of the closet. I understood that it was supposed to be, like, Romeo and Juliet-esque. Like, they just, like, looked at each mm. other and, like, <laughs> knew sort of thing. But it was kind of like... Like, did that guy even speak? And at the end, he was like, oh, nice job tonight or something like something that. Something like that. Tristan, you'll find love in a hopeless place. I I'm going to just go ahead and tell you what I adored the most about these episodes. And that is the Claire and Katie friendship. <gasps> there is nothing that I love, I love more. And she confides in Katie. She's like, Katie's like, what is wrong, Claire? And she was like, I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna because you know what Eli was wrapped up in the play and he was just looking out for her, was sending her to guidance, was trying to like do the proactive thing instead of like let her do some kind of evil revenge, which he knew was a bad idea, which was great because Eli's the voice of reason right now. And Katie, Katie called him a son of a bitch, and she's like, you know what? I'm wearing army pants and flip flops now, so we're gonna take care of this, Claire. Exactly. And she Claire knows. was like, let's do this, and they shook hands. Because Katie's Katie's Alanis Morissette, so she's like ready to go. It's really good. I just love their friendship so it's, much. It was oh the best. It's the best thing. And that's their ever scenes happened. are like dynamite because they're both so good. Like, they're both so good. yeah, it, it was really stop great. Because they're both really good. <laughs> Don't also, stop. Get it, get also, it. also, the victory high fives between Katie and Claire, and the victory high fives between Eli and Jake. Amazing, amazing. I love that they're on the same team. It's so good. Please go on double dates, or I'm gonna throw up right? all over the place. All over the place. And it's if you so do good. go on double dates, I'm still gonna throw up. All over the you place. You know what makes me throw up all over the place? Yeah. Allie and Dave. 
You were over, Dave. You knew I, it. Come on. I'm just going to say this. When they, like, when he ended it, first of all, I was mad that he thought he had the right to end it. Second I all, know. Second of all, I was like, wait, I thought this was already over. What are you talking exactly. about? Wait, Taylor, do you remember that time Bianca and Drew got engaged? Because I always no, because <laughs> it really didn't happen. Because you guys, come on. Okay. I thought it was cute. Yes, it was like I'm totally for Drianka right now. Whatever, they're fine as long as they're not like Harm and JD. I don't care. So yes, True. it was super super cute, and I liked that Drew was trying to like be a man, but you know, at the same time, they're not gonna stay happy for long. Audra is not gonna allow it. She's no. gonna be like, <laughs> you thought you were engaged. Right? Did he propose with the ring from the thing? Like, it wasn't it the was, real... I don't know, but it was yellow gold, and I went, ew. I'm well, just, like, already disgusting. you lost me on that. Okay, dear Drew, first of all, like, platinum or white is your only options. But it's Bianca, so what I, does actually, she Actually, never mind. It's Bianca. So, <laughs> so yellow gold was the correct Whatever. Choice. It's the first piece of jewelry that her auntie didn't give her, so and I her guess it's a, it's a step in the right direction. All right. You know, we still never found out what happened to that piece of lingerie that... Um, Bianca gave to Imogen. I wonder if we're ever going to see that again. I don't know, like a Femogen date goes and like, yeah, it could happen. That'd be pretty funny if they brought it back. Imogen comes out, I'm like, oh, we know where she got it. Gotta say, Adam is always fabulous. I loved his whole fossil rant. That he went on, like, to prove Becky basically, in the wrong. Basically, every line he had in these, like, this week was basically, like, Adam giving an empowering speech. Like, mm-hmm. he was actually, like, a motivational speaker at a rally in every single scene. Yeah, and he owned Becky with facts. I was like, <sighs> you know, it would have been one thing to be like, Becky, you're wrong. No, he was like, Becky, I'm going to prove you wrong. By proving you wrong with real things. And a lot of people are like, well, how do you feel about Becky now? I'm All I'm saying is, okay, I she gained, like, a point. Yeah, but there's so much more to go. She has a lot you can't just, to do. Like, and because her thing is so deep-rooted, you can't just, like, do one good deed and, like, put on a mustache and decide to do the play and, like, automatically I respect you. I'll be like, okay, you're, you're trying, but you've got such a long way to go because you were hating all on Tristan and Adam, who are two of my faves. I wasn't that impressed. I was like, well, this is what you should have been doing from the start, so I'm really mm-hmm. not impressed. Oh, like, you're, you're like, living in the year 2012 and not, like, hating on people? Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Eclair, I was really happy. Basically, I felt like we were instating the fact that they are endgame and nothing's going to stop them now. And I was like, you know what? You go on with your bad selves. I love you. How about that last kiss? It was so like, like a movie. Like, I I almost wish that kiss, like, how are you going to outdo yourself for the last, like, eclair kiss of Degrassi there ever? Is, Taylor, you can't talk about there being a last eclair No, I'm talking kiss. about when they graduate and they're no, happy. No, they're not like, graduating. That's the uh, thing. I forgot. Like, they could graduate, but their story will continue. Oh, There's going to be a spinoff of eclair. It'll just be them, like, in a house. But... I did feel like after the kiss, the green screen in back of them that was shooting all of that like orangey light in the background, mm-hmm. like I felt like Tinkerbell was like flying around and she was <laughs> going to the top of the Magic Kingdom at the end. Oh, just, like, yeah, like, like, like to do the ding. Like, I like shouldn't that. Shouldn't Eclair have an episode where they go to Disney World I think and kiss so. in front of the Magic Kingdom? It would be really good. I think they should. And mm-hmm. Eli finally said, "I love you." Like we finally heard him say it. Oh. We completely forgot about when the girl was like, hey, Claire, I was molested too. And I was like, yeah, the whole Stop ending, it. Basically, the key to the puzzle was to find someone else that could testify with her. It was just like Tinsley and Fiona. Oh, my gosh. I was so happy. Thank God. I knew that girl was coming back. I was Seriously. like, you looked a little freaky freak. Like, you were, like, concerned when she called you over there. You knew. You she were knew. trying to say it, and you couldn't. And then she came, and she did. And then Claire was naked, basically. And I was like, my little Claire heart was, like, crying out. Like, stuff Claire does. And I loved Chloe keeping the kids out of the bathroom while Claire was taking provocative Yeah, she was like, herself. no. But Claire, why did you have to do it in the Degrassi bathroom? I'm just Everybody wondering. always does awful things in the Degrassi like, bathroom. why couldn't she do it in the stall? Like, why did it have to be out in the open? Open. She wanted to do a hardcore mirror pick. Claire graduated that day. Like, something something happened. Yeah, it was not the Claire I know. You know what else 
Oh, the fight scene was miraculous, but you know what else? There were all, like, regular characters involved in the musical that I didn't realize were actually in the musical. Like Jenna. Like Jenna and Connor. I was like, since when were you in the musical? Right. And I also enjoyed their Tim Burton-esque costumes. Those were good. I wanted to be a part of that musical. I Me was too. like, can can I do that at my oh, school? Oh, and when Tori kissed Tristan. I was <gasps> expecting it. I wasn't. I was expecting it. And I was it. really excited about it. I was like, wait, that was perfect. Thank you, Tori. You just like, you were like, oh my God, come here. Let's end this now. And then there was a promo. You know what happens at promo time. Okay, well, let's talk about the first thing that makes me angry about the promo. It's the Beckham! I don't want Beckham! I don't care about Becky, and I don't want her to be with Adam. And when I said I want a girl for Adam, I didn't mean Becky. I meant Imogen! Or someone like That's her! That's what I meant! That Somebody that I used him. to know! Like, it just can't happen. Like, she's, like, not even nearly... Like, even if she, like, I don't know anti-hates anymore or whatever if she like takes away that layer she's still like way lame and not cool enough even a little bit cool enough to date adam like adam's just too cool for her that's what it comes down to the next topic um maya stop kissing zig because you and cam are precious yeah what was that that like, can't happen like tori gonna kill you have you seen her sister throw down in the hallways with Mr. Pedophile, I mean Oleander, that girl can that girl could take a punch and give one back. So Maya, you best be ready for the baby to give it a shot now. Please don't. That's gonna be bad. It kind of reminds me of like when Emma would steal everyone's boyfriend. Oh, you mean you mean <laughs> Manny would be like this gorgeous little thing, and <laughs> Emma would come in and be like, "I've got a hat on. You want to like go out sometime?" And then there was Eclair, and I was okay with that. Mm-hmm. I guess we had some Helen. There was some shirtless. I was very okay with it. I was, yeah. I'm really fine with it. They're like, they're like my comfy couple. And like, just throwing on a pair of sweatpants and yeah. Lunging. Like, they're my comfy yeah, couple. Yeah, like sweatpants, hair tied, chilling, chilling with, with no, no makeup, makeup on. on. Like, that's, that's how I feel about them. Yep. Like, Helen was there. It looked like it was about to be interrupted. It looked really I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there's some sleepovers going on. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so excited. I'm so okay I with it. I don't even care what happens. It's going to be good. It's fine. As long as there's Eclair in a bedroom and Helen's walking in, like, there's I don't nothing even, better. I don't even care if, like, she ruins the moment. No. Like, do it, Helen. I it's, don't care. It's incredible. I would love for her to ruin. Actually, it's I would also for love Claire. for Jake to ruin the moment. Right? That would be hilarious. I want there to be multiple ruins. Like, just everything <laughs> is ruined multiple times. I don't even Jake care. Jake is such a ruiner, too. You could so seeing it happen. Like, he'd come in with, like, a big box of KFC. <laughs> like, I thought you might want some. I'm sorry. Here's a biscuit. Like, toss it and run. And they didn't scare me as much as no piss me off or make me excited so. yeah i'm excited wasn't scared excited very mm -hmm. excited showdown was great oh yeah and it flew by like so did fast. that just happen the hiatus is really short this year hooray so the eps are back in like october what is it 12th or 6th or something like that grassy will be back and uh we'll have our comfy couples so we. and yeah we'll be back and i do think these are Probably really, really, really up there with some of the best episodes ever. Absolutely. They're memorable. Like, yeah. ev the events in general of this summer were so memorable. Lots of mem ev good memories, bad, bad memories. Bad memories. Really, really bad memories. We were shocked. We laughed. We cried. It was riveting. Yeah. It was, it was riveting. That's what we want from TV. Mm -hmm. You know? That's that's what we need. Da-dun-dun. Da-dun-dun.